Greetings and welcome to Street Fighter V. It is finally time. This general story, the big cinematic story we were hoping we were going to get at the beginning when the game was released, is finally here. And I am very excited to play it because I am really curious as to what the story is because I've been following quite a bit of Street Fighter stories ever since I saw Street Fighter 2 V, the anime. And then there was a 90s movie that... Live action movie of the 90s with all the people representing their characters in their clothing and everything. And with Steven Seagal, I think it was? I can't remember. But anyway, on to the general story. Oh. Interesting. Looks like we have acts and something is blowing up in the sky. Okay then. Gained consciousness. It's a miracle. My name is Helen. I've been asked to take care of you. Your <laughs> nurse, so to speak. You had broken bones everywhere. At first, oh, we thought you were already dead. Do you remember what happened to you? I remember. You shouldn't push yourself, Pete. You must save your strength. Huh? Okay then, well, it looks like this is the actual story that... It's basically all these small stories that we got when the game released, but interwoven, probably? Oh, let's see if I can remember how to play this. I am not a... I don't know what that was, but that was useful. Okay, now, if I remember from all the tournaments I've been watching, you can no longer link the quick attacks into combos, so you gotta basically start with mediums. Yeah. Come on. Are you just a Guile? Nope. Yeah, you're actually a regular fireball character. Okay, then. Come on, we can do this. I mean, barely, but I have no idea how a lot of these characters play around, so excuse me for the pathetic play here. But I am doing this from the story, not for exactly the challenge or anything, and hopefully I get some type money from this so I can buy the rest of the characters. That was most impressive. It seems you haven't forgotten your Air Force training. How do you know so much? 
I already told you. I've been asked to take care of you. Not only that, I have valuable information for you. You must find this man and take the peace he has. You are going to need it. If you want to defeat Bison, you do want that. <laughs> nice, nice to nice meet you, meet you Charlie. Charlie Nash. Now, something I'm liking is that they showed us how the where the stages start off and how they link to the world that we're watching because I had no idea there was actually a door there when I was seeing when I saw fights on that stage. So that makes it very interesting. Now we are not we do are going to jump around from character to character, so this is gonna be very fun. Probably either Dalton, there he is. And Karen, no Ryu. Ooh. I need your help. I will help you. Okay, men of few words, apparently. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, come on. Now, Ryu have got a bit more idea how to use him, kind of. He's got that, which is a new parry, which is like... He's the only one she fought five with a parry, I think. No, actually, Alex has one, but only in V-Trigger. Suplex, yeah! Stop being so crouched! There we go. A lot better when I actually know how to use the character in some absolutely basic combos. But we'll see where the story goes, because that, that's what we're here for, actually. Now... Your mind is completely calm in battle. But if you continue to suppress the Hado, you will be consumed by it. Once again, you need to face the Hado that you are hiding inside of. Face it. He finally shows up. Did we really need to teleport just for two meters? I am the jaws of death. The souls of warriors must return to me. Oh, now this is. Wait. Oh, I'm actually playing as Nikali this time. Okay. Okay, so he's he's a little on the basic side. Let's see, going for a grab. Gotcha. There we go. Now, the interesting thing about Nikali is that whenever when he's in this mode, in V-Trigger mode, he loses the ability to do something. I think his abilities completely change. So... I think he loses his ability to V-Trigger, which I'm not sure what it is. But I'm guessing Ryu's gonna wake up in Dark Hado mode, probably? That's my guess, because this is all about something, and something about shadows, and I don't know. There we go, called it. Closer. Do not let the Satsui no Hado take you over. And now we're playing as Dalsum. If only I actually had to play him. I, mean, I know basic combos with him, he's been in. 
Oh, okay, so that's how we do yoga flame. Okay. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Now we go. And now, one thing I don't have, I have no idea how to do is how to do the yoga teleports. And we were doing so good. Oh. Wow, he really moves very, very oddly. I mean, did you see the slow motion how he does the slide? It's very weird. But anyway, that's awesome for you. What's that? I did not know Nikali turned to goo. Long ago, <laughs> That's something we haven't seen. An ancient being who consumes warriors' souls. This ancient being only appears at a time when many warriors are needed. That is, when the world is in a time of great crisis. The world is in crisis. Okay, so something new going on? Maybe, possibly, we have no idea. It's obviously Bison's fault. It's always Bison's fault. And now we are landing in Bison space, I'm gonna guess. Yep. I have no idea who that is. I just can't ignore someone in distress. And this is Rashid, one of the newer characters. Oh. Now he is relatively easy to use, but kind of. I'm pretty sure I can figure out something. Let's put you back in the corner there. That was a lot of damage on this guy. I'm wondering how he landed that thing. Was he on the wing or something? They didn't address that though, so I'm wondering here. It's okay. You're free now. We will get out of here right after I take care of some business, young lady. You think you just saved me? What? Weren't you captured by those soldiers? Did it look like I was? This seems complicated. Hey, little girl, have you seen this person? <gasps> Bingo! Do you perhaps know where they are? Now, my guess is he is looking for Fang, because that's what we see in the opening cinematic-ish. And he's got a pretty long and weird beard. <laughs> Never really paid attention to it now that I think about it. I always thought it was just a little goatee. Turns out it's not. Yep, there's Fang. Fang being Fang. Hmm, hmm. The smell isn't bad at all. But anyone who betrays Lord Bison is my enemy. I must erase you, leaving nothing behind. He 
You turned the man to dust, literally. <laughs> you know, this smells even better. Oh, you arrived sooner than I expected. Hello, good sir. I just came by to pick up a dear friend of mine. Can we discuss terms? You are just a tiny bit late. <laughs> oh, that's it! Do you want this? Well, why don't we make a trade of this piece for my friend? Don't talk too much! Just hand the piece over to yours truly or I will destroy you! Okay, I think that's actually the first time I've ever... Oh, yep, playing with Fang now. The weirdest character in the game. I have no idea how to launch his poison attacks. Unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to improvise. And yes, he does poison people. Oh yeah, poison time! Well, that was a funky little move there. Damn it. Rats. We only had one of them. <laughs> now we can let the festivities begin. That was very, very awkward and anticlimactic for a new person in the story. Unfortunately, oh, I'm guessing Rainbow Micah. Oh no, Alex. I'm guessing we're gonna fight Rainbow Micah too, though. Or ass. That was short? Awkward? Literally pointless, actually. <laughs> but this is Karen's estate. Hey, Bookie's there! And she's in a fancy dress. That was four hours ago. The object odd. named the Black Moon was spotted above Tokyo. It hasn't taken any action, but of course, our family's satellite, Red Spider Lily, is constantly monitoring. And there's Birdie as well. Okay, so all of these cutscenes are leading to something other than showing us who hangs out with who. Now we have an exhibition match. Whoa, Zangief, yes, big guy. Rainbow Micah, Rainbow Micah. I like these two so much. It'll be a match. Oh, here comes Laura. 